smartphones came in with some benefits, such as transferring money through our mobile phones, apply for jobs, and brought freedom of enjoyment in the wake of boredom. But is there some kind of addiction to this technology? Take a trip around the city and you see people work while holding onto their mobile devices tight and in meetings they are right at hand on alert for pop-up messages. But are smartphones robbing people of quality time and real human interaction? In the central business district, you can easily find couples having lunch, but at least one or both of them will be on their mobile devices. It is either they are scrolling through their social media news feeds or taking close-up selfies. They call it the current situation. At times you don't get concentration anymore from anyone because all they care about is social media and I feel it's really destroying people sometimes. The media industry is tapping from the benefits that comes with smartphones and social media in terms of news hints. Selima Henock is on four types of social media platforms with more than 1,000 friends on Facebook, the majority she hasn't met. She is also on more than 10 WhatsApp groups. But as much as she likes the vibe, she has not much good feelings about human interaction detachment. Nowadays, we learn from social media. We don't even um, sit and receive from parents anymore. Even parents themselves in, in the modern world, they are always on their phones. Recently, I went to the north uh, to visit my parents. And um, because there is no electricity, I couldn't really use my phone very that much. I ended up, you know, sitting and having, you know, genuine conversations. <laughs> Phones and technology are fun, but sometimes we just need to unshackle ourselves from them in order to live in the moment. After all, it is good for our brains. I'm Lamy Hemingway reporting for NBC News.